Advanced Plating and Polishing Services will now show you the electroplating process of a classic motorcycle front guard. Our customer has an old guard off a motorcycle that has been painted over the original chrome and would like it restored to its former glory. Details of the goods supplied and the job required are recorded on a job card with the customer's details. An estimate for the job is written on the job card. Before a job is started, we photograph all parts supplied and store the image on our computer. This is so we can't misplace any small parts or screws supplied with a job. The guard is soaked for a minimum of two and a half hours in a hot caustic bath to remove the paint and any grease. Sometimes a job has to be soaked overnight. The little balls provide insulation for hot baths and still allow items to be placed in and out of the baths easily. After degreasing, the guard was soaked for 10 minutes in a cold caustic bath to remove the old chrome. It then spent 35 minutes in an acid bath to remove the old nickel. The guard now undergoes five stages of polishing using progressively finer compounds, so before any plating begins, it has been polished to a mirror finish. About 40 minutes was spent on the polishing processes. We fit a non-conductive weight to keep the guard steady in the plating baths. Here we use an old ceramic electricity insulator. The guard is soaked for 30 minutes in the hot caustic bath to remove any polishing compounds.
The guard is rinsed and scrubbed before electro cleaning. This cold cyanide bath runs at 12 volts to electroclean the guard for 5 minutes before it is acid etched and then electroplated. While it cleans, it bubbles. The guard is placed in a cold acid bath to etch. This provides the plating better adhesion to the guard. Now the guard will receive its first plating of cyanide copper. Cyanide copper is a must for proper adhesion of any further electroplating. It acts as a primer sealer. Plating thickness is one micron. The anode material is pure copper. 